Are you sick of that happening to you? Bleeding to death on your friends and loved ones? Chased home by vampires? Or... Hello, I'm Kittredge. And while bleeding gums may be a valid lifestyle choice for some people, it doesn't need to be your fate. Let's talk about an exciting new approach involving aerosolized hydrogen peroxide. But how are you supposed to aerosolize hydrogen peroxide? Wait for a strong wind? Or use so-called finger mode? You could do that, or you could just use an air floss. This is the air floss. It's a device made by Philips that produces a burst of air and water, which is perfect for delivering hydrogen peroxide into the gingival pocket. I'm basing this off an article from 2016 that showed a weekly irrigation with aerosolized peroxide dramatically improved gum health and systemic inflammation. This is a guide for replicating the methods of the study at home, so what will you need? Obviously we need some hydrogen peroxide and something with which to measure and dilute it down. I use these syringes because they have the milliliter markings on them and we're going to dilute it with tap water. So you want to get two mils of the hydrogen peroxide and put that into a glass. Then get 12 mils of the tap water and put that in there as well. Give it a mix around and check the flavor profile. That's a six to one dilution ratio and it gets us to 0.5%. And you want to just take all the solution and put it in the reservoir of the air floss. So you want to point the nozzle up into the gums at about a 45 degree angle and spray a burst of the solution between each of the teeth. So why are we using hydrogen peroxide? Well, the bacteria that cause gingivitis and gum disease are anaerobic bacteria, which means they need a low oxygen environment to survive. And they have that inside the gum pocket. The peroxide breaks down into water and oxygen gas. This kills off the bacteria and oxygenates the pocket, changing the environment and making it less hospitable for them. As in the study, I'm recommending this as a weekly event and in conjunction with traditional oral hygiene like brushing and flossing and regular dental visits. So in conclusion, um, I'm happy to recommend this uh, approach as an adjunctive or additional thing to do for your oral hygiene and uh, 